Welcome. I'm Stan. This is Game Rebel, and today I'm going to teach you how to cheat in PCSX2. Okay. So uh, what we have here is a an article that I've written that has all the steps and all the download links that you need. I'm going to run you through it uh, step by step and show you guys what needs to be done. All right. First thing you need to do, go to the link in the description. I'll take you to this page. All right, you need to have PCSX2 version 4.0 or higher. You need my cheat list and Omni Convert. Okay, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and download the cheat list. Here it is. Here, downloaded, open. Here's my cheat list. This is uh, like 2,000 uh, widescreen fixes basically, and it gets you started for your game. So if you find out what your PNATCH number is per game, each game has its own number. You will find this in your cheat section and you can open these up and you can edit them. I'll show you what that looks like in a moment. With that said, let's go ahead and uh, copy all of our, I'm gonna select all and copy. We're gonna extract all these files into the place that we need them to be, okay? So we're gonna first do, uh, let's see here. I'm gonna go to Stan, here we go. So here's me, we're gonna go to documents. And then we're going to find what we're looking for. PCSX2. There it is. Then we go in the cheats. And then you're going to go ahead and paste or extract all of these PNATCH files that I've had you download into here, okay? What this is doing for you is it's making life easy so you don't have to create one of these files for every time you load a game. If you're going to be playing a game that you've downloaded, most likely it's in this list and you won't have to create a PNATCH file from scratch. But uh, if you do have to create one from scratch, all you gotta do is open up one of these and edit it so it matches your game. Change the PNATCH number and change all the information inside of it and then you're good to go, okay? So we, we're just gonna go ahead and assume that I've dropped all my files in here because uh, it looks very much the same. Here's all of these and I dragged and dropped them over here, okay? Now they're there. Now. We need to back up a bit and go to our software, our uh, emulator. So I'm gonna go ahead and open that up for you guys. Now that we have our uh, stuff loaded. Hey, hold on, let's try that one more time. My command line is not opening up. Okay, we're gonna fast boot. Uh, show console, that's what we want. There we go. Okay, so we need this open. Uh, Katamari is booting. Uh, we love Katamari. Those are the codes I'm using. And what we're looking for is our PNH number. Now, it's going to have a 0x in front of it and a bunch of uh, digits, okay? So you're looking for a 0x with eight digits after it, just like this, okay? Except this one's not going to be it. Everyone's going to see a 0x, uh, one and seven zeros. What you're looking for is this right here. Okay, so this particular string of numbers, you're gonna look for something like that and it's gonna be located here. It's gonna be looking in this area. Now it's probably going to find it and it's gonna say no codes have been loaded, zero codes. All right, I have six cheats loaded already, ready to go, so it's pulling my six cheats and it's working. So these, it's taken cheats and injected them into the game. I'm gonna show you how we got there, but first you really need to find this number. So. But for whatever game you're playing, you need to find the corresponding PNATCH number. So I'm going to go ahead and copy that number, and then we're going to go back to where we dropped all those uh, cheats. So that should be here. Yes, this is here. Okay, so I'm going to, uh, in the search, type in my number, and it's going to pull it up. There it is right there. 337B927C is the PNATCH number for we love Katamari, all right? And I'm gonna open it up, and when I open it up, you'll see, let's uh, minimize a bunch of this stuff so it's easy to work with. All right, you're gonna see that I have some codes in here already. Now, by default, with my code list, all you're gonna see is these first three lines of code, okay? And it's a patch for widescreen. That's what this is for up here. What we're wanting to do is add some patches for uh, altering stuff. So I wanted uh, to be able to add more time in Katamari or remove time in Katamari. I want that ability. 
So this is the code that makes those things happen. Okay, written in the PNATCH format for uh, PCS X2. Now, the other thing that you need to do is download OmniConvert. You need this, okay? This program is just an EXE. It doesn't have to install or anything. You just download it and you run it. And it brings up this, okay? Now, what I have done, let's minimize this so it's easy to see. We'll focus. What I have done is I've taken Action Replay Max codes, okay? So I went to, uh, I can't remember the name of the website, but I have it pulled up and ready. I went to codejunkies.com and I found cheat codes for We Love Katamari for Action Replay Max. And here's my codes. I basically took these codes right here and this uh, required master code and I uh, pasted them in here. So here's the codes from Action Replay Max and I pasted them in here like so. And the other thing that I did before I did anything was I went to input and I chose Action Replay Max as my input for the code. And then I went to output, and this is very important. Output, unencrypted, standard. Okay, so this creates raw, unencrypted code. So it's converting Action Replay Max code to raw, unencrypted code that the game can read, okay? Or that uh, your emulator can read. Now that we have this, this is very important, we have it converted. You just hit this convert button, and bam, it goes, okay? Now that we have all that, I'm gonna show you what we do next. This is where we open up our PNATCH file. So you're gonna open it in your favorite editor. Um, you can use Sublime Text, Notepad++, uh, just for the sake of simplicity. So it's not too crazy looking. I am doing uh, Notepad++, okay? It's free, easy to use. I think you can even do this in Notepad if you really want to. Um, now, what I did is uh, I typed out, and this is on the article you can copy the format for this code it, so the way this code works is you uh leave a comment so you know what the line of code is for so for example uh this is the master code I, up here uh, in our uh, uh omni convert you could see the code for the master code this is required for all the other codes to work so it's basically like an activator okay so you need your activator and I do a, a, a double forward slash space, and then I name whatever it is I want. So I just, you know, it's pretty standard in the uh, uh, game hacking world that M is for master code. Okay, so I just named it that because I know what it means. Then what you got to do, and I'll just type this out for you guys, is you got to type in patch equals one for activating, zero is for deactivating, okay, comma, EE, -E, comma, and then you type in your code. So th this one would be uh, F01CB2E4, comma, and then you type extended, comma, and then your final code, 001CB2E7, two, oops, 2E7. Two All right, and you could see right over here, it matches, okay, in our raw, unencrypted thing. So what I do is I just kind of, you know, another way to type it out is to, uh, you know, and this is in the article, you could just copy paste it. Patch equals one comma EE -E comma, one, it's eight characters, four, five, six, seven, eight, comma extended, comma, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So X and Y need to be replaced with the codes you have over here. So if we do it right, it'll look like this, okay? Looks just like that. So here is the code format written out the way that it, it can be read. So basically you just take this and you copy it here under this one and then you take this one and copy it over here. Right, fill out X and Y. So M code is covered. And then you do the same thing for uh, your next code. So that one's written. Now we want to write uh, the, the code that we use for adding more time. All right, so you know, again, you have your title, and then you fill out. Uh, this one has two lines. So over here you could see there's two lines. So there's two different lines here written out. So each line needs to have its PNATCH patch code, whatever the fuck it's called, okay? So this is, uh, this is how you do it. That's it. And then what you do is you write out all your codes and then you save it. 
All right, it's saved, it's ready to go. I don't wanna save, but I, it's already saved, it's good to go, okay? We'll close that, we don't need that anymore. And once it's saved, you're actually ready. All you gotta do is play now. Um, so in our game, I'll demonstrate. Uh, I'm gonna leave the sound off so I don't get hit by any copyright stuff. So uh, these codes work, and my codes are L1 plus L2, uh, add time, R1, R2, subtract time. All right, let's move on to the right screen here. Uh, I don't know who to talk to, let's see. We could try talking to that dude. Hopefully he gives us the right kind of mission. We need a countdown mission. All right. Mr. King. Let's fly his head in circles. We na 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 that's the wrong kind of mission. So, uh, <laughs> oh, there we go. I can actually, no, nope, that's not doing anything. So on the timer on the right, this is a uh, count up type of uh, mission. So my code isn't working because you can't really lose. Uh, however, if it was a countdown, I can push these two buttons and it'll cause my clock to count down or to uh, uh, reset the clock back to top time so basically take as long as you want to per match and the codes do work I was I played this all day yesterday I just loaded the wrong mission to demonstrate but uh, you guys are gonna have to take my word for it so there's that okay uh, any code you want all right so all you got to do gamerub.net download everything there it has everything written out for you and you guys will be good to go now you will be cheating and uh uh, PCSX2 in no time. All right, have a good day.